hi everyone welcome to my channel god bless you hope you are doing well if you are new to this channel this is a great channel full of god's word and prophecies and word of knowledge this is a channel that has the all of the bible audio in a playlist bible audio playlist is a great channel subscribe and be blessed a channel full of prayers god bless you and if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate you for always coming back Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Let's pray for we start. Father, in Jesus' name, we just worship you. We thank you for your word. Always come to us to help us and teach us. Your word is light. When your word comes always like this, we don't we'll never be in darkness. Your word is truth. Thank you, Father God in heaven. We receive your word with gladness of heart and meekness of heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have you been? Welcome to this today's video. We're going to be looking at Proverbs 18 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Pray, hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is a strong tower. That name of Jesus. That name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It can save you. Praise God. Do not put your trust in any other name. Do not put your trust in a human being or any other thing. Put your trust in that name, the name of Jesus. Do not call any other Lord. Do not call any other God. There's no for there's no other. The Bible says all that gods are idols. But the Lord is a true God. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of Jesus is a strong tower. The name of our God, Jehovah, is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Don't run somewhere else. Don't run to other places for help don't run to voodoo places for help or any other place for help run run into the name of the lord the righteous man runs into it and is safe run to the lord call the name of the lord the day of trouble and he will answer you call on jesus in the day of trouble he will answer you do not start calling on that people don't call daughter daughter is secondary before you call daughter call jesus christ first before you call daughter Run to that name first, name of Jesus Christ. Then you cannot call daughter if, if it's not necessary. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the, the first should be the Lord because anyone that runs into the, that name of the Lord shall be, say what? Shall be safe. Shall be safe. Hallelujah. Safety is the name of Jesus Christ. Safety is in the name of the Lord. Safety is in the name of Jehovah God. The beginning and the end. They have found the Omega, the maker of everyone on the earth. With whom nothing is impossible. The God that loves us so much. That sent his son to die for us on the cross. If I know you believe in that, I will come to that later. At the end of this video, I'm going to put a prayer for you to pray. And you have to, be, try, you have to believe in that because it's just the truth. It's just the simple, it's just the truth. I won't say try and believe in that. Just believe it. Because it is true and to help you. And that name will save you. That name will save you. He said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. So he didn't say the wicked man run into it. He said the righteous man run into it. So if you are there, you're not born again yet. To become righteous, you have to be born again. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. With all your heart and confess him as Lord, you'll be born again. So you can become a righteous man. So you can also run into that name of the Lord. Because it did, it did not say a wicked man runs. It said the righteous man runs into it and he's safe. And anyone that is not yet born again, he cannot be a righteous man. But we that are born again, we have the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When God sees us, he sees Jesus Christ. When God sees us, he sees the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus in us. Because we have accepted Christ as Lord. So if you're not born again, to so be able to run into that name, you have to, at the end of the day, I'm going to put a prayer of salvation. You say that prayer and with all your ask me so you can run to the name of jesus christ and be safe all the time hallelujah but he says call upon me day of trouble whatever the bible says say i will answer you the name of the lord is a strong tower a strong tower strong 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 the righteous man runs into it and he's safe are you added today whatever problem you are having right now in your life Run to that name of the Lord. Call Jesus Christ. Call the name of the Lord. Call Jehovah God, the Alpha and the Omega. Call him today and you will be safe in the name of Jesus Christ. No, do not run somewhere else. There's no help somewhere else. Only God can help. Only God can help. Even for a doctor to help you, God has to be able to use that doctor to help you. So we will not go and mislead you and give you... Because there are cases of people that put their trust only on the doctor and the issues may come out from the treatment. So even when you, you for to for you go to doctor, I'm not saying don't don't go and see doctor. I'm not against doctors. I'm saying put God first before doctor. 
Hallelujah. So that everything will go well with you, even in that treatment, uh, you may be, you may have to take. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. May we run into that name today in anything we are facing in life. So we will be safe in the name of Jesus Christ. May we not run somewhere else. In Jesus' name. May we not go somewhere else because there is no help somewhere else except in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. May we remember to call the name of Jesus Christ at all times. In every problem, in every trouble that we may have at the time. Because the Bible says, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from the Lord. He didn't say somebody else will deliver him. He didn't say the neighbor. He said, but the Lord will deliver him. May we trust in the Lord today. God bless you. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. This channel is full of the word of God. I will help you and encourage you and lift you up and bless you and give you wisdom. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Touch the bell so you know when I will put a new video. And remember, run to the name of the Lord and you shall be safe. God bless you. Stay safe. Thank you. If you are out there, you are not yet born again. You don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You've not accepted Him. You still think is a mere story. You still you've been thinking is a joke. You've been thinking there's no heaven. You've been thinking there's no God. The Bible says the fool says in his heart that there's no God. You are there thinking all these things. There is God. There is God. And the Lord Jesus Christ actually came to die for you and me. And apart from the Bible saying that, history books also have that written down. That somebody called Jesus Christ came to this earth and did a lot of miracles and died and rose again. So if you are there not born again, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today... I accept you into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. From this day onward, I am yours. I will follow you. I will serve you. God in heaven, I thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. He died for me on the third day he rose from the dead. Thank you, God, for this love. This unconditional love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord. Today, I belong to your son. I will not go back to the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. If this prayer was said by you, and with all your heart, you made it, you are now born again. But if you know you said this prayer, you did not mean it, say it all over again. And with all your heart, mean it. Mean it. So you can be born again. And if you have said the prayer already, and you mean it, please start going to a Bible teaching church where God's word will be taught you. So you can grow. The Bible says, as, as newborn babes, desire the sincere make of the word of God that ye may grow thereby. God's word is what, the food is a meek that will make you to grow as a young Christian, even as uh, an old Christian. God's word is a food that will make us to grow. But we grow every day, we learn every day. So very important, go to the Bible teaching church, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints together. In the book of Psalms, the Bible says, how beautiful and how pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity and harmony. That way God commands his blessing and life forevermore. So when Christians come together, God commands his uh, blessing and commands life there. So go look for a Bible teaching church. That means a church where the Bible is being taught. A church where they open the Bible and they teach from it. It also a church where people are filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of praying in tongues. Go there and stay there that you may grow. So you have a great life. You're on it before Christ comes. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. Touch the bell so you know when we have a new video. Stay blessed. Share this video. Bye.